Good morning, everybody. Here's an update to my last video on the P0420 um, error code that I was having. Uh, in my last video, I cleaned the upstream O2 sensor on the passenger side, hoping that it would clear the code. About two days after I did it and put it back on, um, the, the traction control lights and the check engine light came back on. So unfortunately, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the part and see if that uh, fixes those error codes. So um, as you can tell, if I turn the key here, let's see if it'll show. Yeah, so we still got the check engine and the traction control. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect the battery, replace the O2 sensor and uh, stick with me and I'll, I'll show you the update. All right, so here's a comparison of the O2 sensors. I just got this one pulled out right here. And as you know from my previous video, it's white and oxidized a little bit and it won't come off after sitting in gasoline for two days. And you can tell the OEM replacement's uh, shiny and, and doesn't have any of that color on there. Um, here is the part number from Denso for this upstream on the passenger side of this 2007 V6. Looks like it also came with, I'm guessing, some kind of anti-seize, maybe some kind of high high temp anti-seize. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it put back on there and uh, hopefully we'll get these codes pulled or removed. All right, here's the moment of truth. We got the upstream sensor on the passenger side, that is side bank one, uh, plugged in, old one removed, and so here is the first turn of the key since it's been plugged back in. Seem to start up a little bit smoother. Go ahead and let it run for another minute here. Sounds like it's running pretty good. After I let it idle for a little bit, I'm gonna take it on a lap around the neighborhood, maybe up on the highway, get up to highway speed, and uh, see if those engine lights stay off. So thanks for uh, watching.